What is up everybody, welcome into this new video with Techpress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do get started with a server of the Google Firebase. This is your ultimate beginner's guide to understanding and using Firebase to build an amazing application without managing complex server infrastructure. So what exactly is the Google Firebase? So Google Firebase is a powerful platform that provides you with all the tools you need to build and grow with your applications. It handles the back-end infrastructure so you can focus into creating a fantastic user experience on the front-end. So think of it as your all-in-one toolkit for app development. So they are, these are, for example, just a few of services for beginners. So this one gives you authentication. Easily add user sign up and sign in functionality with various providers like email, passcode, uh, Google, uh, Facebook, and more. You have the real-time databases a known SQL code database that allows you to store and sync data in real time across all the connected clients. And you have now the cloud storage. We can store and serve user-generated content and like images, videos, and files. And of course, as well, the cloud functions as hosting. So you can deploy a web application or a static website quickly and secure with Firebase hosting and run back-end code in a serverless environment in the responsive to events trigger by Firebase services or HTTPS request. So let's set up my, fir my first fi Firebase project. So let's get started by creating here into my Firebase. I'm going to get into the option that says go to the console. So here we can sign in with your Google account. In my case, I am already inside my Google account. Now we can choose for the option that says try the Firebase Studio. And inside here, we can start by adding an actual project. Now we can enter a name of your workspace. Let's say I can select the workspace. In this case, I'm going to go for new workspace and you can try out for React, Sample, whatever. So enter your name for it. We can configure Google Analytics if you wanted to. In this case, I want to just stick around here. New empty workspace. I'm going to just type to express. And there we go. Now let's add Firebase to my application. In here, I'm going to connect my Firebase to my application. So in my Firebase project Kanzo, uh, what I need to do, of course, is to just wait till my workspace has now been correctly added. So I'm going to head into the upper side. I'm going to try Gemini. Gemini can be helping me to enter codes and so much more. When you create your very first project, it should be appearing in here. So to get started, of course, we have the experiment with Gemini 2.0, there's authentication, and there's optimization with the confidence. We can check out here, the tasting agent, generate images here, and all the products. Here, if I choose, for example, let's say the product overview, you'll be provided with a Firebase configuration object. So we can add an actual script if you want to, and even what I can do is to look out for my account see all my projects and start, for example, with the app just. Now we can look out for Gemini that can help me with this process. For example, I'm going to close this and choose the option that says, how do I get started? This should be helping us with some Firebase app distributors and can help us with our page information. I'm going to close this, look out for my project overview, is to ask Gemini to get started with the authentication of my elements. So tell this, what we can do to get started. For example, additional providers. I have the safe, safest IDs from external elements. Here's my sign methods. Here are a few templates, the usage, the settings, and few extensions. Now, uh, let's implement user authentication here. We can go into build authentication and click into get started. You can enable the email passcode sign in provider as you can see here into the sign in method. Here's the advanced elements and the native providers. So I enable them and I hit into save. Add a new provider, Google, enable, and here support email for project, and I hit now into save. Right? Really work. Now, um, exploring, storing, and retrieving data with Cloud Fire Store in the Firebase console, you can go into the option that says build that you can see into the left section. So I have the authentication, here's the gen code, here's the project overview. I'm going to close this one and into build, we can look out for Firestore databases and click into create the option that says database. 
So choose a security rule option, for example, start in test mode for developer. And in your web app, the JavaScript uses the Firestore SDK, right? So after you seek this location, you cannot change this later, so go for next. Here's the start in production mode. So we can try it, for example, in, st in starting the test mode, of course, in this case. You can even use the section of the product I review. So you can look out for the option to see, for example, getting started with Gemini. And let's say the Gemini, I wanted to create an application. How can I get started? And Gemini should be helping us to generate an application with the actual console of the Google Firebase. For example, here I create a Firebase project. I add a Firebase to my application and basically that will be actually it. So guys, as you can see, it's gonna be really easily to use to taking the first step into the world of the Google Firebase. This is an actual really powerful platform that offers you so much more to explore so we can start building your amazing applications. So if you find this beginner help you guys can help you to get started here, you can let us know in the comments below what you think about this great reapplication. Thank you so much for watching the video guys. Hopefully with all of this being said, we can all see you of course next time and well, try to be the scripter here into firebase studio generate your own elements use firebase studio to generate your own prototype or applications and you can try them out later on thank you once again for watching the video guys hopefully we can all see you next time